Recent fires in California might have you thinking about how to protect your home if a fire breaks out. And this morning, Alana is out live checking out environmentally friendly insulation that can help protect your house. It's from Rock Sewell Fire and Soundproofing Insulation, and she is live in Ovilla. Morning, Alana. Hey, you're dressed up. Good morning, up. Jane. That's where I am today. I am all dressed up because we have a large fire here. I'm being joined by Matt Ressinger, and he's going to let us know all about it. He is a builder and a YouTuber. What's going on over here? Man, we've got a massive burn going on today. We're doing a demonstration for fire safety. What we've got here, this giant flame, on top of that is some stone wool insulation. We've made a birdhouse, and inside the birdhouse is a box of chocolates just like this. Okay, let me tell you, this this box of chocolates right now is already warm, just kind of, kind of being near the fire. Close to the fire. That's right. And you know, we're in Texas. A box of chocolates left in your car for very long can get hot and melt. We're going to see what happens after this fire goes for a few more minutes to this box of chocolates. But while we're talking about fire safety, okay. in your house, the most important thing to keep your family safe is your smoke detectors. These smoke detectors are your first line of defense. A couple things you need to know about smoke detectors, though. Change your batteries once a year. When we fall back once a year and change those, you need to change your batteries. The other thing you need to know is these have a limited lifespan, about 10 years before you need to change your smoke detector itself. Nest has a brand new one to the marketplace, too. This one will also detect CO levels in your house and send an alert to your phone. Okay, good tips to know and a nice reminder in case we need to check those batteries or even just replace altogether. Now, give me, uh, remind me what this insulation is made out of here. It's actually made out of these rocks, isn't that right? That's right. So this stone insulation. This happened to be made by Roxol. This is made from rocks. We've got two kind of rocks here and most of this is actually recycled content from the steel industry. So we've got a good recycled story here. But a couple other benefits besides fire resistance to this. It also is great for soundproofing. So when you're remodeling your house, we're going to give by putting this insulation in, we're going to give your family precious time as you're going to see from this demonstration to get out of the house for the firefighters like these great guys at Ovilla to get in there and protect your house. Put that fire out. And it also has some water resistant properties as well. Look at this one that's been soaking in water. Just runs right off like water off a duck's back. Very, very impressive. And you know, you mentioned the moments, the seconds, because down to the second, that really is very important to get everybody out and get everybody to safety. That's right. So a bunch of things combined are going to give your family that extra time, and this insulation going to be a big part of that fire safety strategy. I think it's time to check in on our, on our chocolate. And so we're going to have Kevin from Ovilla Fire Department go ahead and put this fire out so we can check inside the fire cage. All right, Kevin, you guys want to take that fire out. <laughs> That's your cue, you guys. <laughs> Get it out. I'm going to step out of the way just yeah, a little bit here. Not a bad idea. Uh, not a bad idea at all. And so you're telling me inside that, that bird cage of insulation, there is a box of chocolates, and it is not going to be touched. We'll see. We're about to find out. This pretty visible demonstration. That fire looks pretty hot to me. <laughs> it does look very hot, and I hope they're going to bring that over here, too, because I don't want to touch it. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Oh, These guys have all the protective gear. Yeah. All right, so there's our box of chocolates. It was in there the entire time. Let's have a look. Let's come back over. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Is Kevin. it okay to... T oh, wow. It's, How about that? It's kind of warm. Just Didn't a little barely. Bit. Just barely. barely, though. And look at that. <laughs> Not melted oh at God. all. These chocolates are in perfect Look shape. Okay. Now, are you going to dare me to try? Because I kind of want yeah. to. Take a we're we're going to take a, a little TV bite here. How about that? No, perfect. It's so cool. Isn't that crazy? That is nuts. Just a little bit of insulation. Know, and Matt, you mentioned before, even in Texas, you can barely leave chocolate in your car without it melting. And you. And yet it has just been consumed in fire. Isn't that crazy? And it's very yummy. A perfect demonstration yeah. to show you how this is going to help protect your family, give you time to get out of the house, you and your loved ones, and of course get the good guys from Ovilla Fire Department there to put out the fire and protect your structure. Now this is ideal for those who might be building or uh, you know building their home right now, but where can somebody go for more information or to to look into the insulation a little more? That's right. So you can buy this Roxel insulation at your local Lowe's and Home Depot, and of course talk to your builder like me about using this type of insulation in your house. This is stone wool. Okay. And with the information, one more time, the website. So so the, uh, the website for uh, for these guys is roxel.com yep. and of course you can get this locally at Lowe's or Home Depot. Very nice. All right, you heard it here. You stop yourself. We had we are on the fire the entire time. No tricks, no magic, no nothing. <laughs> the chocolate has not melted whatsoever. Matt, thank you so much for the good information. Absolutely. Thanks Jane, I'll toss it back today. to you.